Now that we have chosen our main design, we can perform a high fidelity analysis on it. Go to the stage navigator and switch to the refine stage for performing a high fidelity simulation. The materials, loads and boundary conditions are all transferred from the explore to the refine stage. For this model, we just need to hit the solve button to start the simulation. In this high fidelity simulation process, the first stage is the generation of the mesh. What is a mesh and why is it needed in this simulation process? Meshing is an, an integral part of this simulation process where the entire geometry is divided into smaller elements that are used as discrete local approximation of the larger domain. The appropriate governing equations are solved for each of these small elements. The most common types of mesh elements are tetrahedrons, prisms, hexahedrons and pyramids. The mesh influences the accuracy, convergence and speed of the simulation. Coming back to our model, the mesh will be generated using default mesh settings. Click the mesh button to view the mesh generated in the bike crank. Once the solution progresses beyond 50%, the mesh gets displayed. The solution is now complete and ready to be analyzed. We can look at the stresses generated in the crank and its deformation. Now, if you look at the mesh, it looks to be very coarse. A coarse mesh refers to a mesh with a very few elements which may not capture the underlying geometry accurately. So let's try to refine the mesh, increasing the number of mesh elements and see if it has any effect on the results. Go to the stage navigator and move the fidelity cursor to extreme right. This will automatically help to generate a finer mesh. Solve the analysis again. You can now see a finer mesh generated in the crank. The solution is now completed and we can check out the results. From the charts, it can be seen that there is not big differences in the two results. This indicates that there is no need for any further mesh refinement. You have now got the displacement and stress results from this high fidelity simulation, which you can use for several purposes, like creating an analysis report, comparing simulation values with experimental data, and so on. Go to the file menu and save the analysis. Note that only the refine stage results will get saved, while the explore stage results will not. This concludes the exercise on the structural analysis of a bike crank.